What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix slow HDD or SSD copy speeds on your Windows PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. Experiencing slow file transfer speeds can be frustrating, especially when you're trying to move large files on Windows 11. Fortunately, there are several methods you can try to speed things up. The first method involves adjusting the TCP auto-tuning level. This feature is designed to improve the performance of programs that receive TCP data over a network, but it can sometimes affect file transfer speeds. To modify this setting, you'll need to open Commands Prompt as an administrator. Simply search for CMD in the Start menu search, right-click on it and select Run as Administrator. Once the command prompt window opens, type the following command to disable auto-tuning. NAT SH, INT, TCP, SET, Global, Auto-Tuning Level, Disabled, and press Enter. If you find that this doesn't improve your copy speeds or negatively affects your network performance, then you can revert the change by running the same command with Normal instead of Disabled. In case this didn't help much, then try adjusting the Optimized Drives server settings. This service is designed to optimize the performance of your drives, which can indirectly improve the file transfer speeds. Type Services in the Start menu search and click on Services to open the Windows Services Manager. Look for the Optimize Drive service. Double-click on it, change the startup type to Automatic and then click on Start, followed by Apply and OK. Lastly, you can disable Remote Differential Compression API support. This feature is intended to transfer data efficiently by sending only the differences between two objects over a network. However, it can sometimes slow down file transfers on local drives. To disable it, search for Turn Windows Features On or Off in the Start menu search and click on it. In the Windows Features pop-up window, locate Remote Differential Compression API Support and uncheck it. Click OK and restart your computer if prompted. This will help improve file transfer speeds. Remember, before making any changes, it's always a good idea to create a restore point or backup important data to avoid potential issues. These steps and more information will be available in my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.